I've always known that I was very creative. I grew up in a very isolated village. So really all there was to do was make art. Hello, my name is Claire. I'm a printed textiles designer and I'm based in East London. I work in a variety of mediums, including ceramics, natural dye, and printed textiles. But I think I only really knew I wanted to pursue a career in textiles after I graduated from university although I knew I needed to do it on my own terms and not work for someone else. This is where I create all my work, my desk. I have previous paintings and some ceramics that I've made. Current sort of inspiration mood board. Natural dye experiments with onions, avocados, madder, alkanet and apple tree bark. Of course, my pens and pencils. William Blake's Songs of Experience, which I just find a really inspiring book to read, as well as Matisse's Jazz. And current things that I'm working on right now. I'm quite old school in that I still get a lot of my inspiration from books. These are some of my favourites. Be Here Now by Ram Dass is just a constant source of inspiration from the illustrations and the knowledge that's inside it. I'm really inspired by uh, sort of Buddhist thoughts, um, Kundalini and ancient symbolism. This is a really great book, um, just sort of explaining the meaning behind lots of different symbols. Matisse, of course, a huge inspiration um, with his cutouts and this book um, is just so simple and truly truly beautiful. The Bloomsbury Group and Charleston House which is in Lewis and I would definitely recommend going if you can uh, is this incredible painted house um, that is just so spontaneous and free and beautiful in the way it's designed. Betty Woodman is just incredible. Her texture, shape, composition, um, the use of brush strokes and line work and abstract organic shapes. And then uh, finally, a book that I always find really inspiring um, about the Kibbo Kift, which was a sort of green sort of philosophy, um, not quite a cult, <laughs> but um, their thought system was so inspiring and beautiful. How I produce my work really depends on what medium I'm using. Um, if I'm doing my printed textile stuff, which are designs like these, um, I basically hand draw everything and paint it all in one of my many sketchbooks um, and then I scan my work in and digitally manipulate it on Photoshop and then I get it printed on fabric in the UK. I also do original paintings. When it comes to ceramics, it's a very organic process and I'm not really sure whatever's gonna turn out when I start making it. Um, but what I like to do is sort of have my paintings um, and ceramics all out on my desk at the same time so I can dip in and out of different things and I think working in that way I, I personally think all my practices feed into each other and they inspire the other thing. I mostly just really enjoy experimenting when it comes to natural dyes. Um, this incredible yellow colour came from a plant. Um, it's from the mimosa flower and it just came out so strong. Um, but then recently I've been experimenting with sage which was grown in my mum's garden um, which came out this beautiful sort of khaki green. This is sage on silk and avocado, this incredible like dusty pink colour. With natural dyes um, 
it never ceases to amaze me the incredible colours you can get just from plants and nature and this vivid pink is from Brazil wood. This is from Weld which is a, a Eurasian weed and this was dyed using avocados. As some advice I'd give to anyone who's starting their own creative practice or um, starting their own business is that there are no mistakes and just keep going. Uh, everything leads you to where you need to be, the good moments and the bad moments. And don't let anyone else's negativity or opinions stop you from doing what feels right for you. Thank you.